one day of sunshine in the last six weeks or so, a little breath of spring isn't such a bad idea. The Shreveport captains are a distant thought at this point. We don't know who the players will be, and since Bill Robinson wasn't offered the manager's job again, we really don't know much. So then why are the lights burning so brightly at Fairgrounds Field? When the Shreveport captains were eliminated from the Texas League playoffs last summer, the work was just starting for the team's front office staff. We, uh, Daryl, actually work harder during the offseason than we do during the season. Uh, different type work totally. Our offseason is where we build toward the season. We have to do all of our ticket sales, season ticket sales, promotions, uh, all the different group nights that we work on, coming up with our advertising sales, spent time sales, all the different things that have to be done prior to the start of the season. Certainly the franchise has been successful at turnstile and on the field since the team moved to Fairgrounds Field, but attendance has leveled off and that doesn't suit the team president. This year we're going to try to take a step up and we are have some new ideas, some new marketing plans, uh, some new ticket programs to try to really get more people out here at the ballpark. We would like to see, oh, four or five hundred more people per night on average, which would equate to around thirty or forty thousand more people over the course of the season. And that's what our goal is really this year, and we're going to do everything we can to make that happen. An ambitious goal. That's about a 20% increase in attendance. And so Moore has his staff working all the angles. Have a meeting. Make a phone call. Brainstorm. Get a corporate sponsor. Get fannies in the seat. Winning two Texas League titles in a row certainly helps attendance, but you can't count on a winner every year, so you need to make the whole night at the ballpark package attractive to the fans. We've looked at off-price tickets, you know, reduced-price tickets. We've looked at uh, recreation of, of youth groups, maybe a, a not-hole gang to try to get more kids out here early in the week. We've looked at post-game concerts on whether those would be practical. We're looking at all the options. And, oh, by the way, since the captain's fans have come to expect a winner, and last year was a little bit of a letdown after two straight titles, who will be the manager? Still no official word from the Giants. Not having a manager as of this day really doesn't, doesn't bother me too much because I know the reasons why we don't have one. We don't have a manager or staff. The AAA team doesn't either. So I think they're just waiting to get all that in place before they make any announcements. The announcement may come as early as Wednesday of next week. We'll keep you posted. Taking a look at the field today, it looks like you could fish for trout around second base.